So we're going to see a pinch hitter here with the bases empty and one gone in the inning. The right fielder, number four, Kermit Yellowhorn. Line hard, but foul. Very tight ball game. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Play ball. Four, four. Take the base. Always nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. Four to two, the final score tonight. Arizona took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Robbie Ray earns his eighth victory of the season. Archie Bradley wraps it up for the save, number 36 on the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for the ball game tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks. Four runs on eight hits. No errors. They left four men on base. Tuesday night baseball here on the show from Chase Field in Phoenix. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the San Francisco Giants and the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's Diamondbacks baseball on the show, and it comes your way next. Warren Miller, a right-hander from North Carolina, is the man on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, when you look up the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher, this is your kind of guy. Career ERA under three, just knows how to get it done. Controls the running game, limits the amount of damage. Three. Three. Standing in, Kermit, yellow horse, and what a that season he's having. Entering play, field. leading the league in Kermit. two of the three triple yellow crown horse. categories. This guy's got a big shot at the Triple Crown. He's leading in two of the three categories and top five in home runs, so that's where he needs to pick it up. First pitch of the at-bat. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Price is underneath this one, and that will retire the side. Diamondbacks down in order. We are still scoreless. Into the box now, Broussard. That is it. The left fielder, number 31. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Pulls this one into the air, out into right field. Yellow horse on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Settling in now, Ty Block. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ty Block. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Yes, it will. He's got himself a one-out single. 
Well, you don't see that all the time. Pitcher deep in the count, 0-2, and, and D. Rose still manages to sneak out a base hit on an 0-2 count. You know what? He never le lost his toehold there, Dan. He seemed like he won. Three. So striding forward now, Kermit right Yellow Horse. He flew out in his last Kermit. at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. And the Diamondbacks have their first hit of the game. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. It remains one nothing. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Kermit right Yellow field. Horse. Number He's four. one for two in the ball game. Kermit. Yellow Horse. First delivery to him on the way. Drilled to the right side. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Well, that's only the second hit he's given up tonight, and the first one didn't do any damage. So he's not sweating this one at all. They haven't been able to string anything together. So it's a runner at first with two men yeah, out. Batting. And in to hit Center next, fielder. it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie, Jackie Bradley Jr. Bradley Jr. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. Line toward the gap in left center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, Dero, any time a lefty takes that pitch on the outer third and drives it the other way, you have to be awfully impressed. Yeah, you have to be. It reminds me of Will Clark back in the day taking that ball the other way. You have to be able to play with the whole field to have success in Number the big basic. leagues. Number yeah. 21. Yellow there. horse at second. Blue Bradley draw. on at first with two down. Popped up. Longoria is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Giants two and the Diamondbacks nothing. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. The Giants took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Ty Block hangs win number 11 on his line. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Giants. Three runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left 11 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 39 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.
Well, the clear skies typically mean one thing. A hot afternoon here at Chase Field in Phoenix. Today, it's the rubber match of this three-game series between the San Francisco Giants and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Get ready for Diamondbacks baseball next. Antonio Senzatella, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? You know, Matt, he wasn't all that bad in his last one. In a day and age where we don't see a lot of complete games, six full innings in his last one, and if they can score him a few runs, he has a chance to win. Three. Permit Yellow Horse. And what that a season he's having. The Entering field. play, leading the league Herman. in two of the three triple Yellow crown horse. categories. Yeah, and he's just off the league lead in the batting race. He's in the top five of that category, but he is out in front in home runs and ribbies, so we'll see if he can make a push for the triple crown. First pitch of the at bat. Back up oh, the dick, middle. Dick, dick. And that's through for a hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. At the plate, Dalton Lyons. And as you take a look at the splits here, fielder. he's actually better Dalton. against right-handed pitching this Lyons. season. Out in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. Price Come on, is dig, there. Dig, dig. You're scoring, you're scoring. And the inning is over. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. Yellow Horse, oh, eighth the batter of the inning now with the, the bases right loaded and two away. Herman. Yellow Horse. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Danny Dero, this Giants team, as they begin play here this afternoon, they do come in off a victory last time out, but they've really hit the skids here recently. Losers of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty V, and you know what, Dero, this is when you really get tested. They, they call it the dog days of August for a reason. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Gone! It's a grand slam! So one swing, and he unloads the bases on that one. Number 33 on the year. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Yeah, and you've got to feel really sorry for the pitcher. He was up against the ropes, bases loaded with the power hit at the plate. The best thing he could do with that. Three, 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 three. Digging in, Evan Price. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. High in the air out towards shallow right. Yellow Horse has it in his tracks. Two down. Play ball. Ball four, six, six. Ready once again, Kermit Yellow Horse. He's already got four RBIs Kermit. in this one. Yellow Horse. First delivery to him on the way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Price is there. Two gone. Look, 
Play ball. Out. He's out. Striding in once again, now Miguel batting. Gomez. Hit it hard, but lined out Miguel. in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over the wall. A home run. So a two-run homer down the line in right field. Fourth home run for him on the season. And they're now on the board, though still well behind. Wow, not every call is going to go your way. And there are some pitchers that pitchers think are pitchers' pitches, and you don't get that, and it puts you in a bad spot. And you can tell that it Digging in once again, Kermit, Yellow Nobody Horse, runner in scoring four. position with two guns. Kermit, Yellow Horse. First pitch of the at-bat. Popped up. Come on, you're scoring, you're scoring, Sardinus you're scoring. Sardinus waits on it. And that ends the inning. A run on a couple of hits here for Arizona. Seventh inning coming up. It's the D-backs nine and the Giants two. Allen Hansen the next to bat. Now batting the second baseman, Allen Hansen. One and one, here it comes. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Moving under it, Yellow Horse. He's got it, and there are two down now. Coming to the plate now, Kermit Yellow Horse. No right He's two Number for four, four in the ball game. Kermit Yellow Horse. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. This is a tough guy right here to hit into a double play. He's fast and he swings from the left side. So out of the box, he's going to get a good break. You might have to try to get the strikeout right here because very rarely are you going to get this guy to ground into a double play. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area. Here comes another 0-2. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that will hit off the, the wall right here. center. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. When you play with fire, you have to expect to get burned once in a while. He's about as hot as you can get right now. They continue to pitch to him, and he continues to make them pay. Nice double off the wall here. Up next for Arizona, Dalton Lyons. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, and I know you want to lace a line driver, hit a potential home run. But I'll tell you what, grab the cheap ribby when it's there. Give me a ground ball, middle of the diamond, and steal a run. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Over now, they'll apply the tag between second and third. It's a careless double play, and the inning is prematurely over. The 2010 National League Rookie of the Year, Buster Posey, will start things out after the break. Ninth inning coming up. Arizona's on top, 10 to 4. This 
was just a nice win for these guys. They did most of their damage in that big second inning and did what they had to the rest of the way to secure this win. Ten to four, the final in this game. Arizona took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Antonio Senzatella pitches his way to a team leading 12th win of the year. Stephen Eason struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondbacks. 10 runs on 14 hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game. Three hours and 38 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.